So I'm going to make this pretty quick. This is just to how to update uh, Graceborn in the future. Um, right now we're on version 1.16. Um, it doesn't matter what version you want. It's probably going to be the same type of updates in the future unless they add newer stuff. Um, first thing you want to do on Graceborn, I mean not Graceborn, on Elden Ring, make sure once you update the game, at least pull, open the game, you know, without the mods first. Make sure you have ray tracing quality off. Again, um... On the bottom right, you can see the version you're on. So right now we're on 1.16 and 1.16 calibration. And this is only mainly important for, uh, like I said here, as you can see, 1.16 is literally where the newest update we got. This is the main file that you need to install in the first place. Um... So, like I said, there's, an, there's a video down below that's long and lengthy about everything on that. If you go on post, like I said, I try to put enough information. There's another video I will also put in the link that tells you how to fix a launch bat, if just in case it doesn't launch for you for some reason. But, like I said, if you really want to learn how to install the whole mod, just watch that video. This is not the video for that. This is just for the future of how to update Graceborn, that way I don't have to constantly remake it every single time we get a new update unless they add something new and different. So once you have this mainly installed and you um, got this also, once you download the 1.16 or whatever version you got in the future, um, once you open it, it should give you a mod folder. It's, at least that's what's been happening lately. If they added more things, then I guess I'll make another video if, if it's really that confusing. But either way, you just go inside the mod folder, or you can copy the mod folder. What I like to do, I like to uh, uh, copy what's inside the mod folder. And then I'm going to go to my mod engine 2, which you get, again, from downloading the 1.13, the main file of Graceborn. Um, and then you're going to go inside your mod folder in there, and all you're going to do is just paste where you just copy. And then we'll replace those files and update them to be working with whatever version you're applying to update to. Um, after that, you should just launch, uh, launch mod Elden Ring Bats. Like I said, if this is your first time ever playing Graceborn, watch the other uh, video. <laughs> it's, it's just a lot of things going on there that, uh, you know, some people don't really understand or need help to, uh, to see visually. But yeah, once you have this loading, boom, it should work. If you have, like I said, a, a soft data issue, or uh, corruption or something like that um like i said try to start the game without the mod first if especially when you just updated the game um make sure you're on the right version like i said if you're on 1.16 or 1.17 whatever version it is make sure you have everything correct um another thing is another way to solve the whole um save data is situation you go inside your mod folder that's inside your mod engine 2 for graceborn and you see this regulation bin what you want to do um you can either like drag it back like for example move it here or move it to another spot or go put it in your desktop either way just move it so you know where it is once you move it you start the mod by either clicking launch mod or whatever way you launch the mod which should be this way once you launch it, if you don't see the issue where it said the save data corruption nonsense, once you see that you can actually bypass it and it doesn't give you the problem anymore, just make sure wherever you put the uh, bin, just make sure you put it back in. So for me, it would be, you know, I dragged it over here. So I will go back into my uh, mod engine mod and just place it back. Just make sure you put it back in. I don't know why that like fixes that issue, but that's basically the main way to fix it and that's pretty much it that's how you pretty much uh, do that and for the future make sure you go to steam right click Elden ring go to properties and make sure in installed files well uh actually not install files sorry go to updates and make sure you have it where I only update this game when i launch it and then um never allow background downloads while i'm playing this is to prevent um actually never sorry this is to prevent you know future updates to mess up with your modded updates which are a modded game version of elden ring so at graceborn so let's say for example elden ring gets updated and graceborn is a little bit behind and they haven't updated to be working with the new update of elden ring this will stop the issue or any future issue you will have 
and the only way you would update the game is if you click on it which usually when we play mod elden ring we don't click from steam we click from uh mod engine 2. so hope that helps and i hope if any if anything else comes new i will make another video but this is just to put everything in one simple and like i said watch the other videos if you're very extremely new or you need help like i have other videos on making parry work if it doesn't work for you little things like that okay hope we all good here